a Christian marriage is a union between a man and a woman. As it is written in the scripture in Genesis 2 verse 24, it gives us a picture of the marriage bond before sin entered the world. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. One flesh echoes the language of the preceding verse when Adam first meets Eve and exclaims, This one is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. So becoming one in marriage involves uniting two whole and separate people into a new God-designed and God-purposed life. The two shall become one flesh clause expresses the original purpose of marriage to seal a permanent relationship between a husband and a wife. Jesus Christ spoke of this union in a conversation with the Pharisees about divorce. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Marriage is intrinsically linked to sex. So, it is important that one has a good grasp of the role of sexual intercourse before one can delve into the topic of same-sex marriage. At the most fundamental level, a gay marriage is impossible because the same-sex couple can never consummate their marriage. They can never become one flesh. Also, the combination of their sexual organs can never produce children. They only have half the parts necessary but doubled. It is not to say that gay people are incapable of loving each other in the same fashion as anyone else or that they cannot care for their partner and stay as committed as anyone else if not better. A homosexual union is intrinsically impossible because they cannot unify. Sexual intercourse is the sign of marriage and the act of sexual intercourse is the renewal of the covenant of marriage. So, two same-sex people can never complete their marriage. For this reason, it is intrinsically impossible for two people of the same sex to marry. It is not discriminatory, it is not homophobia, and it is not hatred of gay people. The marital act can simply never occur between two people of the same gender. This is not to say that homosexual people are any less of a person than heterosexuals. All people, regardless of age, color, race, sexual orientation, religion, etc. are equal in dignity. As a member of God's creation, each person should be given the due respect that a person deserves because in the eyes of the Lord, we are not separated by age, color, race, or sexual orientation. Each person may not be equal in all abilities, but we are equal in dignity. With pure and divine grace, we are all most loved by God Almighty as a member of His creation. God bless you all.